Hello dear friends, welcome back to the beautiful past then and now 2024 YouTube channel. Today, are you ready to dive into the enchanting world of our favorite witch, Samantha Stevens? This show is bound to have you laughing till you cry. Let's dive in and enjoy the magical ride together. When you mention Bewitched, nobody can forget Tabitha Stevens, the adorable little witch with the knack for moving objects with magic. Erin Murphy, along with her twin sister Diane, took turns playing this role at just two years old and became one of the most beloved child icons on the small screen. After Bewitched, Erin Murphy continued to appear in several other films and TV shows. However, she didn't achieve the same level of success as she did when she was younger. Erin Murphy endured two unhappy marriages and has four children. In 1998, she married for the third time to Eric Weissman and had two more children. In 2018, Erin Murphy fulfilled her dream of buying a house on Malibu Beach for $2.3 million. She leads a healthy life still and engages in various activities like blogging, cooking and spending time with family. Currently, at 59 years old, Erin Murphy is happily living with her family in Encino, Los Angeles. Phyllis Stevens, the meddling mother of Darren, was portrayed by actress Mabel Albertson in 1964 when she was 63 years old. Born on July 24, 1901, she began her showbiz career at the age of 13, and with talent and dedication, she enjoyed a nearly five-decade-long career, appearing in many famous films and TV shows. In 1975, Mabel Albertson had to retire due to Alzheimer's disease. After a seven-year battle with the illness, she passed away in 1982 in Santa Monica, California at the age of 81. Mabel Albertson was a talented actress and a seasoned artist of Hollywood. Her role as Phyllis Stevens will forever remain a cherished memory for Bewitched fans. Next up is Alice Pierce, born on October 16, 1917. Alice Pierce began acting at a young age and had a successful career on Broadway. In 1964, at the age of 47, she was cast as Gladys Kravitz in Bewitched. Few knew that Alice Pierce faced many challenges in her life. She suffered an accident at the age of nine, which resulted in her jaw not developing properly. She was married twice but did not have any children. In 1964, before starting to film Bewitched, Alice Pierce was diagnosed with late-stage ovarian cancer. She fought this battle quietly and continued to excel in her role as Gladys Kravitz. However, she could not overcome cancer and passed away at the age of 48 in 1966, after the end of season two of Bewitched. When you mention Bewitched, nobody can forget Samantha Stevens, the beautiful and kind-hearted witch with the ability to move objects with magic. This role has become an icon for female empowerment and sparked the imagination of audiences worldwide. Behind that legendary character is the talented actress Elizabeth Montgomery, who breathed life into Samantha Stevens and turned her into a cherished memory for fans. Elizabeth Montgomery began her acting career at a young age and quickly found success. In 1964, at the age of 31, she was cast as Samantha Stevens in Bewitched. With her charming and emotive acting style, she made Samantha Stevens one of the most beloved characters in television history. Elizabeth Montgomery was married four times and had three children. She was a wonderful mother and always made time for her family. In her later years, Elizabeth Montgomery devoted much of her time to social activities. She volunteered for a non-profit organisation dedicated to recording educational audiobooks for people with disabilities. 
She passed away in 1995 at the age of 62 due to colon cancer. Did you catch the enchanting generosity of Montgomery before she bid us farewell? Please share your thoughts on her magical philanthropy in the comments below. Next up is Dick York, born on September 4, 1928. Dick York began his acting career at a young age and quickly found success. In 1964, at the age of 36, he was cast as Darren Stevens, and he was also the first actor to portray this role. However, Dick York's life was far from smooth sailing. In 1969, while filming the fifth season of Bewitched, he suddenly collapsed on set. Chronic back pain from years of smoking had severely weakened his health. Despite his love for the role of Darren Stevens, Dick York had to leave Bewitched to seek treatment for his illness. 18 months later, he was bedridden and had to rely on prescription painkillers. It took many years of persistent effort to overcome addiction before Dick York could return to normal life. Dick York passed away in 1992 at the age of 63. Agnes Moorhead was born on December 6, 1900. Throughout her five-decade career, she excelled in radio, stage, film and television. Moorhead was a multi-award winning actress, earning Primetime Emmy Awards and two Golden Globe Awards, along with four Oscar nominations. In 1964, at the age of 64, she took on the role of Endora. On the small screen, Endora appeared as a wicked witch constantly meddling in Samantha Stevens's married life. However, behind that fierce and stubborn exterior was a loving mother who only wanted the best for Samantha. Following this role, she earned high praise from entertainment insiders and fans alike. However, her personal life was less smooth. Agnes married twice, both ending in unhappiness and divorce, leading to speculation about her sexual orientation. Nonetheless, her close friends debunked these rumours, affirming Agnes's heterosexual identity. In 1974, Agnes was diagnosed with uterine cancer. She fought bravely against the disease but ultimately succumbed to it at the age of 73. Her passing was a significant loss to the entertainment industry, leaving behind deep sorrow among her fans. Next up is Darren Stevens, born on April 19, 1940. He is considered the second Darren Stevens. Dick Sargent was a talented actor with many years of experience on stage and the small screen. Before joining Bewitched, he had appeared in several well-known films and plays. In 1969, Dick Sargent stepped into Bewitched to replace Dick York as Darren Stevens, Samantha Stevens' mortal husband. After Bewitched ended in 1972, Dick Sargent continued to act in many other films and plays. However, he couldn't achieve the same level of success as when he played Darren Stevens. On National Coming Out Day in 1991, Dick Sargent publicly announced his homosexuality and supported LGBTQ rights issues. Sargent had a life partner with whom he lived for over 20 years before the unidentified man passed away from a stroke in 1979. Later, he lived with his partner, Albert Williams, until his passing. Sargent was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1989. Initially, doctors were optimistic that the disease could be treated. However, the cancer continued to spread, and by early 1994, he was seriously ill. 
Sargent passed away from the disease on July 8, 1994, at the age of 64. Larry Tate, Darren's boss, was portrayed by actor David White in 1964 when he was 48 years old. With his subtle and emotionally rich acting, David White turned Larry Tate into a tough but compassionate boss. In his personal life, White's first marriage to stage actress Mary Welch ended tragically when she passed away while pregnant with their second child. His son, Jonathan, died in the Lockerbie bombing in Scotland in 1988. Sadly, in 1990, he passed away at the age of 74 due to a heart attack. If you've made it this far, we've covered two thirds of the journey. If you've ever followed and know about those actors, please leave a one in the comments section before watching the rest of this video. Next up is Sandra Gould, who appeared from season three onwards to replace the late Alice Pierce in the role of Gladys Kravitz. She was born on July 23, 1916, and in 1966, when she joined the filming, she was 50 years old. In the role of Gladys, Gould's excellent acting and distinctive voice endeared her to viewers, and she ultimately succeeded in making the character her own. She remained with the series until the seventh season. Gould dedicated six decades to her passion for acting. Apart from acting, she also participated in various business and community activities. Sandra Gould was married twice and had one son. She became a widow after her two marriages ended. In 1999, three days before her 83RD birthday, she suffered a stroke and passed away following heart surgery at the age of 82 in Burbank, California. The final character for today is the appearance of George Tobias in the role of Abner Kravitz. He was born on July 14, 1901 and was an American stage, film and television actor. Tobias began his acting career at the age of 15 at the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York. From 1964 to 1971, he portrayed Abner Kravitz, the long-suffering neighbor. Tobias never married and retired from acting in 1977 after reprising his role as Abner Kravitz in a guest appearance on the Bewitched spin-off Tabitha. Besides Bewitched, he played supporting roles in several major classic Hollywood films with a career spanning five decades. As a Democratic Party member, he supported Adlai Stevenson in the 1952 presidential election. On February 27, 1980, Tobias passed away from bladder cancer at the age of 78 at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. On the way to the mortuary, the hearse transporting Tobias's body from the hospital was left unattended and was robbed, driven three blocks before the thieves discovered the body, immediately abandoned the vehicle, and fled from the scene. Tobias's memorial service took place as planned on February 29, 1980 at Mount Sinai Memorial Park. He was interred at Mount Carmel Cemetery, Sukta 1 in Glendale, Queens, New York City. Thank you for watching. 
The show is a delightful blend of supernatural elements and family humour, providing audiences with laughter and fond memories. Which actor is your favourite? What are your thoughts on the passing of many cast members? Share your reflections in the comments below and don't forget to show us some love with a like and subscribe.